Hi guys, welcome to my channel today. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, I want to talk about today about when you go traveling, um, a couple of hidden costs, or not, not really hidden, they're not hidden costs, but talk about uh, costs that you often forget about until it gets closer to the time of leaving. And this can, this can sometimes, you know, it can be a little bit of money and, and you might not actually think about it. I did, I did a, uh, a video some time back about showing people how they could do a, uh, a 10 day trip to Southeast Asia uh, for two people for under $2,000. And that, that's, that's true. But the one thing I didn't probably mention in that, that I did forget at that time, was what I'm talking about now. And that is, there's some costs there, some, some costs that we forget about until it gets closer to the time of leaving. And I'm going to talk about that. So, the first uh, cost that we don't often think about, which is vital, is actually travel insurance. So, I must say, I don't get paid anything. I'm not an affiliate of any of the, these places I'm about to talk about. I'm just trying to source these for you guys so you can see um, a couple of the cheapest options when talking travel insurance. I, I, I researched this before I bought my travel insurance and it varied quite a lot. <clears throat> I saved up probably about $150 in the end just by researching the different prices that are going to charge us for, for me, my wife and uh, daughter to go overseas uh, for three weeks. So I found Webjet was very good, very, very com competitive. First though, I went to a place called 50 Up Club. Now, yes, you've got to be over 50 to, or, or you, one, you, you or your wife have to be over 50 to join uh, this 50 Up Club. Now, it is Australian. I'm not sure if that's open to everyone in the world or not, or if it's just, it might be just for Australia. So, if that's the case, um, then apologies to those in other parts of the world. But it does show you your travel insurance. Um, you click on that, it gives you all the details you need. You get a, ask for a quote. Now, of course, you've got to type in, you know, where you're going and how long you're going for and whatnot. Um, so there, it's a, it's a one trip. Individuals, or couple and family, rather, for, for in my case it was. Uh, destination, Asia, that's where we're going to the Philippines. It asks for the date, so in our case, we're going 11 April to 2nd of May and there's three travelers the main uh, got the main traveler age well give my my age away i'll be 54 when we go uh or well, i'm actually 53 now because that's when you are now um traveler two my wife and traveler three and my daughter okay so then we hit the next button and there it goes it comes up there so you'll see that the gold package, 194.62. That's for the three of us for three weeks. That includes a lot of stuff, as you can see there. It's got unlimited, un, unlimited cancellation, uh, unlimited medical expenses, which is very important in case anything happens. Emergency expenses, fifty thousand dollars. It's only hundred dollars excess that you have to pay if anything happens. Uh, travel delay expenses up to two thousand dollars. Personal liability up to five million dollars. And the list goes on and on and on, now down to valuables, hospital cash allowance, passport documents, personal accident, legal expenses, and, and, and whatnot. So there's loss of income down there. I oh, know, sorry, you don't get, oh yes, you do with that. Sorry, 10,000, yes, up to $10,000 loss of income. And you know, it, it, that, that's a great deal and it looks great. And you know, that, that's fantastic. So that's if you're over 50, and that's not a bad deal. Uh, and, and I think if you're in Australia, but I might, might be standard you cracked it on that, whether that's the case or not. But uh, then I checked out Webjet, and you enter the same stuff in the, so the quote here, can't, and there we go. The most popular, which is, it was a great plan, uh, $180. So the comparison, 50 club, up, up club, uh, sorry, where are we, it was offer, it was 194.62, same destination, same, um, you know, for three people, blah, blah, blah. 
and the Webjet undercuts that even by you know a good fourteen fifteen dollars for the time, which is savings in your pocket. And again, you've got un unlimited emergency medical uh, and hospital expenses. You've got emergency dental expenses up to a thousand dollars, fifty thousand accidental death. You know, hopefully you won't need that. Um, and the list goes on. You know, cancellation fees. Um, What else we got? Additional expenses up to hundred thousand dollars. Travel delay expenses up to four thousand um, dollars. Luggage and personal effects. I guess if they go missing or whatever, they're up to ten thousand uh, dollars. Theft of cash up to five hundred dollars. And 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 it's a it's a great deal. So um, that's the one we ended up choosing for one hundred and eighty bucks. Three of us for three weeks we, we're pretty well covered no matter what happens you know if, if anything unfortunate happens over there we get sick or whatever uh, we're covered so I thought I'd bring that up and just show you it saves you a lot of shopping around but by all means you do your own research and find out you know what works for you what, what's best for you in your circumstances but you know it might just provide a shortcut to go and check these places out and again I'll say I don't get any commissions on this at all this is just uh, I spent a lot of time researching this to get the best deal so uh, it might save you a little bit of time as well. And um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, I guess, is another expense that we don't often think about when we're going um, overseas until until it's getting closer is vaccinations. Now, you know, places, certain places in the world you might not need vaccinations, and others you do. So, for example, when we're going to the Philippines, yeah, we we, we all need to be vaccinated because you got to be vaccinated against hepatitis A, hepatitis B, typhoid. Uh, you've got to get malaria tablets. I've got, I've, I've got a whole heap of these. I'll just shove this in front of the camera so you can see. These are all my... You can see those. There's a whole heap of them. There's 50, 52 malaria tablets there, which I've got to take when I go overseas. So, um, and and you, you, take those, you take those two days before you go while you're there and then four weeks after you come back. That's why you need so many of them, just one tablet a day. But... The vaccination costs in themselves as well are uh, quite expensive. I just had one the other day which cost 180 Australian dollars. Now that was just for um, hepatitis A and typhoid. And um, lucky for me, I had a few others, a uh, few other vaccinations uh, when I went over the Philippines a few years ago. So I didn't need them all. But my wife now is going to have to go and get hers done as well. And my daughter has to get hers done. And we all need the, the uh, malaria tablets. So I estimate between the three of us that we're looking at five to six hundred dollars for vaccinations and malaria tablets. So it's probably a cost that I never really considered until just recently. I thought, oh, we better check out what we need, you know, as far as vaccinations goes, because you don't want to be going overseas, taking the risk, end up coming down with hepatitis or typhoid or, or malaria or whatever. So very important to get that. I thought I'd just share that so people do factor that in when they're planning to go to some of these countries. Always check what um, vaccinations you may or may not need to keep yourself and your family safe when you're when you're having a great time. Last thing you want to do is be on your vacation and everything's going great and all of a sudden someone gets really really sick. And if you don't have those, I'm not sure here, but if, I would think if you don't have those vaccinations and you were to get sick and end up in hospital, I wonder if you'd be covered or not by uh, the by the travel insurance. Because they may say, well, you should have taken precautions. So I don't know if they would cover you or not. If someone knows that, instead of that I'd really like to hear uh, because I'm curious about that too. Um, but play it safe, get all your vaccinations done um, and uh, to get your travel insurance organized and it's really not that much in the end but just a bit extra cost that we have to factor in so thanks guys very much for watching um i hope you're all doing well and having a, a, a good day or night or evening wherever you are and i hope to um bring some more of these sorts of videos to you very soon um stay tuned we've got lots going on we've got lots of different stuff in the lead up to our trip to the philippines in april and i'll tell you we're going to get some great footage over there so stay tuned for that through april may and june and i'll be uploading probably even into july and august we'll probably have a lot a lot of stuff so 
um, stay tuned and hope you're enjoying so put your comments below likes like share the video and subscribe with the notification bell on guys take care bye for now